have it Fashion Week. Um, this is our second virtual event of the week, and we're super excited. We have a full house of the Badgley Mishka team. I will let themselves introduce themselves in just a second. Uh, but for those of you who don't know me, I'm Amanda. I'm the Director of Marketing for Covet Fashion with the lovely Sarah. Hi, I'm the GM of Covet Fashion. So excited to be with you all and to have our wonderful guests here with us. We are so honored. We are so honored to have both Mark and James from Badgley Mishka here today. We also have Kay from their team, who is kind of the reason the whole Covet partnership came together. And for those of you who attended CovetCon last year, you might see a familiar face with Ashley, the director of digital content for Badgley Mishka. So we have a full house. I'll let them all introduce themselves in just a second. But I do want to get into some housekeeping things before we get started. Next slide, please. All right, so we're going to kick things off with just a little chat with Mark and James and the team just to kind of get to know them, get to know a little bit of history about the brand. Um, then we have some special treats and to showcase some of their spring 2021 collection and um, we'll get to learn more about their inspiration behind the collection. You'll have a chance to do some Q&A at the end, so make sure you submit all your questions in the Q&A feature. So at the bottom bar on your Zoom, you should see a button that says Q&A. So put all of your questions in there. It'll help kind of separate it from the rest of the chat so nothing gets lost and we can answer all of your questions. Um, we'll do a wrap up at the end. I do recommend staying to the very end so you get to know about the prizes that you'll be getting in game and in real life. So we'll share all that at the very end. Um, make sure again that you change your chat feature to all panelists and attendees so everyone can see what you're saying. And we will have some trivia and some prizes to give away um, in between. So make sure you stay tuned for that. All right. Wonderful. Next slide, please. All right. So should we start and just have Ashley and Kay introduce themselves really quickly and then we'll we'll go to Mark and James. Ashley, why don't you kick it off? <laughs> Um, I'm the digital content director for Badly Mishka, so my thumbs are tired already from this morning of feverishly getting out all this content, but we're so excited that you guys are here and that we're able to share this very unique um, fashion week with you all. Um, Wonderful. Welcome, Ashley and Kay. What about you? Hi from Los Angeles. So we're very bi-coastal here at Badgley Mishka, all over the country, all over the world. So welcome. This is really exciting to talk about spring 2021, moving on from 2020. <laughs> yes, here, here. We're ready for it. And yeah. Mark and James, the stars of the show. Tell us a little bit about you. Okay, so first of all, the screen says just says James Mishka on it, but and that's me. And Mark Badgley is obviously here as well. Um, so I didn't want to get him a short shift on the, on the screen name. Oh, no worries. And we are in Palm Beach right now. Um, can't believe we're launching a fashion you know, season from New from well, season launched in New York, but we're in Palm Beach. And like Kay said, we are actually tri-coastal, our company. So yes. In fact, we were more than that. I think James and I were laughing. In the last few minutes of launching this collection, we were doing a button placement. I know that sounds exciting on a blouse. I think it's <laughs> exciting. <laughs> and <laughs> there are more exciting things. But. What was so humorous about it really though, is James and I were in Palm Beach. The model was in the Hamptons on Long Island. Our design assistant was in Pennsylvania. The sewer, that was doing the buttonhole placement was in mainland China, which is where this blouse was being made. And our production manager was in Brooklyn. And we all had this simultaneously Zoom to put in one buttonhole in one of these garments. And we had to laugh because, you know, it talk about it takes a village, but it was, um, I mean, truly, a, it was overcoming, a overcoming adversity. Yeah. Yes, exactly. We really learned how to um, to conquer uh, under this new situation that we're all in. A tremendous amount of creativity went into this collection and figuring out new ways uh, that we never thought were possible to accomplish our task. But um, it was certainly interesting. It was fun. And, you know, you just never know. The beat goes on. I think it's just a testament to the level of detail and care and passion that you put into your collections, knowing that we have to, you know, have people from all over the world so that we can ch channel that creativity into the, our screens instead of on person. So I think it's going to, you know, I think it's going to evolve us into even more creative than we've ever been before. 
Uh, I think I, you're right. I think so. You just have to face the reality of the world and you know, adapt accordingly. You do. And maybe just allow a little bit more time. Yeah, FedEx takes a little longer now than it used to. Exactly. Yeah, FedEx did not get me my Tumblr. Can I see all of your Tumblrs, those of you who have them for our Covet Fashion Week? <laughs> Mine got lost during my move, but I love to see you know us having coffee with it. All right, well, let's let's move on a little bit and let's learn a little bit more. Yeah, so we would love to just get an overview of like, you know, why you started your collection in the first place, who you're dressing for, where she's going. Sure. I mean, we started our company in 1988. Actually, we incorporated on August 8th, 1988, which is 8888, which we didn't realize, but it's a very auspicious number in Chinese um, numerology and Chinese uh, tradition. So it turned out, I think it turned out pretty lucky for us um, so far, knock on, knock on wood. And we started our company, we were working for other designers. I was working for Willie Wear Willie Smith and doing their menswear. And Mark was working for Donna Karen. And his first job had been for Jackie Rogers, who's a semi-couture designer in, in New York back in the 80s. Um, and we figured we were working so hard for them, we would have started our own companies separately. And then we decided we would just join our efforts because the name was so easy to pronounce putting it together, Bachelor Mishka. Um, so we started to yeah. give you a, a real snapshot yeah. of our, our careers. We opened our collection with um, 12 little black cocktail dresses, which at the time was very unusual because it was when grunge was happening, which I'm sure a lot of the audience doesn't even know what that is. But clothes were I remember. Very, yes, clothes were very dressed down and very sportswear oriented. And James and I always had an affinity for evening clothes. We opened up with with 12 little black cocktail dresses and one red one. Yep. And um, for whatever reason, uh, we got a lot of attention from the retailers and Bergdorf Goodman gave us the windows all around the store and it, it attract the attention. James and I were backing the collection ourselves, which is not an easy feat uh, in this yep. industry. And it attracted the attention to this uh, big apparel company, a, hu a huge giant at the time, Escada, a German um, company. It's, it's quite small now, but in its heyday, it was one of the biggest. And they became our backer uh, through the help of Bergdorf Goodman and Neiman Marcus. And so we grew our collection enormously, it became the biggest evening wear purveyor uh, designer evening clothes in the country. And that was 33 years ago, believe it or not. That wow. Yes. Yeah. Some and of the so, women you've you dressed since then have been, I mean, just throw out, throw, throw out some names of some of the red carpet yeah. looks. We've been basically, really we basically everybody. dressed everybody <laughs> uh, in, in, in one way, shape or form. But our, we dressed um, Jennifer Lopez for four or five Oscars. We've dressed um, Helen Mirren, um, oh, Halle Berry was Madonna. one of our favorites, Madonna, Beyonce, um, all Queen the Queen Latifah. Yeah, all the biggies, all the, you got the no heard ofs. It's a really fun part of what we do, but it's really not our focus. Our focus is dressing the woman down the street that has got to get dressed for a beautiful special occasion, whether it's her you know, set her daughter's wedding or a beautiful country club dinner with her husband. Or um, now, now a Zoom meeting. Or it's like, right now it's all yeah. about Zoom. It's a beautiful blouse. She's probably wearing, we don't want to know what, you know, down below probably sweats. Um, but that's been our mantra. And um, we love a thread of glamour through all that we do. We basically, we design a lot of categories. They say even our teacups are glamorous, and um, and that's what we love. We're, we're magpies for anything shiny. Anything shiny. We're known for our beading and our embroideries, which we love to do. Although we've toned it a little bit down right now, um, but it doesn't matter. We came out with a, a line of luggage. It's all in tortoise shell, faux tortoise shell. It's absolutely stunning. Um, it's really super fun and it's a huge uh, huge puzzle to bring our touch to anything that we design but we always have a lot of fun doing it i know when i think of badly mishka i really think about timeless glamour 
and just the way you make women feel. I, I have gotten the opportunity to personally experience wearing a couple of your dresses and I've never felt more beautiful. And I think that, you know, all of us as women, we sometimes have, you know, feelings of where we lack confidence, but getting to put on something that you've created, it just transforms you into like this stunning creature. And it's just such a gift that I think you give to the world. Those of us that get to wear it, those of us that get to play with the garments in covet fashion, and those of us that get to see the looks uh, out in the world on Instagram right now. So thank you for um, giving the world this, this timeless glamour. And for us, we're really grateful that you are spending your morning or your lunchtime with us. That's well, so nice of you to say that. that. All and right. We were talking to Women's Wear this morning, and um, we realized that, you know, we they said that we are essential workers now because we need to bring glamour and you know beauty to this world because right now this world needs a lot of that. Exactly, we really do. Right now we've got so much going on in the world. You know, the you know the East Coast is drowning and the West Coast is burning and all over the world, you know, we're, you know, learning how to adapt to life post pandemic or during the pandemic and it's really amazing to get to see beauty and to not get so bogged down in the tragedy that we forget that there are moments of everyday beauty. And I think fashion and glamour and you two especially can really help us with that. So thank you. That's so sweet. To say. So we have a couple fun polls that we just want to throw out there. So there's no prizes attached to these. These are just some kind of fun things to help you get to know Mark and James a little bit better. If we want to launch the first one. So this one was, I was a question on Jeopardy. So was it Mark or James? Uh -huh. And everybody vote and we'll get to see the answer. Do you see the poll on your screens? Can you? We see it. Yeah. Okay, good. Although we can't vote. Yeah, we're no, we can't vote. Well, I know the answer. So I'm a, I'm a huge Jeopardy nerd and a Badgley Mishka nerd. So <laughs> all the trivia. All right. Maybe give it 10 more seconds. Yeah. We need the Jeopardy music, Sarah. <laughs> Do, 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 do. I wasn't told I was going to sing. <laughs> You're always ready with a song. That's I am ready to sing. All right. So the correct answer to that was James. Yes. All right. Next polling question. What's Jeopardy? <laughs> I'll read this one. Okay. I grew up riding horses and compete as a hunter, rider, and shows across the country as a way to de-stress. Who is this? Do, do, do. You know, I grew up in Tennessee. I grew up in Nashville and I also grew up riding horses and I stopped, you know, just as I grew up in life and I've just now started again and I've forgotten how magical horses can be. And I'm so excited to be able to get back into it. That's so nice. You're doing it again. I, I'm, it's, you know, having more time, I'm, I'm commuting less, I'm able to, you know, balance my time some more and just having the opportunity to be outside in nature and not in a crowded office. Um, are you out, in, are you out in Franklin? Uh, no, I grew up in Nashville and that's, and so I did ride in Franklin, but I'm in San Francisco now. So You're I'm in San Francisco now. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. So where do you ride out there? What, I, I go up to Healdsburg, which is about an hour north and uh, and I get to ride. All right, let's let's give it about ten more seconds. Okay. Do we have the answer? the answer? Who was I it? Can't, I can't see the answer, Amanda. Oh, here it is. It was Mark. Mark. About eighty-six percent of you got it right. So good job. Oh, I'm impressed. <laughs> I think our banter helped. <laughs> I, think, I think that was gave it away. Oh, that's true. Yeah. We'll talk more later. I want to talk more about it. Okay. All right. So we have a very special treat for you coming up next. Just launched this morning. We have a preview of the spring 2021 collection.
Oh my gosh. God, I love seeing the chat. Oh, so much I, love too. I need a moment. I've seen that already, but it's just, I have goosebumps from how stunning everything is and to be able to see it in that setting. I know the video, you know, hiccuped a little bit in some places, you know, with us being all spread out, but it's, it's stunning. It's just really timeless glamour and it, you bring it to life so beautifully and it makes, it just makes me want to wear everything. Oh, thank you so much. That was done at Old Westbury Gardens at the old Phipps estate out on Long Island, just down the street from where James and I used to live. And, you know, it's so funny. Oftentimes when there's events, James and I always laugh in this country, you wind up at a Hilton or a Hyatt hotel or something. And to see our clothes in this beyond gorgeous environment um, is such a treat for us personally as well. It's stunning. And it may, I, I would love to go and visit. It's just an incredible location and it just showcases the beauty. All right. Let's talk more about the spring collection. So what we would love to hear is how you get your inspiration. You know, what we saw stunning colors, we saw beautiful fabrics. How did you get your inspiration for spring 2021? Well, a lot of the time we take our inspiration from travel that we do. We, you know, travel around the world and we've been inspired by different locations for different collections. And then this season, obviously we didn't get to travel anywhere. So we had to sort of pick some um, locations in our mind that we hadn't been to before and make an imaginary journey there to um, inspire us. So, and what's fun about that is that you can often make it so that the act, your imagination can make the location even better than it actually is. So it's there's true. no disappointment there because you can, it's all in your mind. So we had never, we'd never been to Havana before. We've been dying to go there for years. Um, we have a lot of friends who are photographers who have been there who took some fantastic pictures that inspired us of um, the fantastic architecture and the people inspired there. Inspired our prints. Yeah. yeah. And then the Isles of Greece, we've never been to Greece. Everyone else we know has been to Greece many times and we have friends who keep inviting us, but we never get to go. And so this year we didn't get to go either. So we went there in our minds. And then Savannah, the Garden of Good and Evil, um, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil really inspired us. And we actually, oh, I can't say something about that because it's part of your trivia questions at the end. But um, that was also very super inspirational. The whole good save. Garden. Pardon? I said, good save. Don't give it away. No, I won't give it away. But the nature of the industry, as I'm sure most of you know, we started working on this collection practically a year ago. Yeah. And then when the coronavirus hit uh there was a lot of start and stops to this collection and um all of our factories closed down a lot of our fabric mills closed down so it was to say the least quite a journey and um i still think it's a miracle that it all came together yeah pulling teeth comes to mind yes it does <laughs> and um but it really starts with our fabrics you know we do our fabrics mostly out of europe and that's where we do our colors and our prints. And then there's no shortcuts. We just start making uh, muslins with our pattern makers. We sketch uh, around the clock, uh, start doing muslins of our new silhouettes for the season. And then slowly it just, start, you know, we start cutting our, our beautiful new fabrics as they come in, start working on our embroideries and our trims, uh, accessories, et cetera. And like Mark said, this season, you know, we had to work with everybody remotely. People, our office was not open until just recently. So we were having everybody work from their houses. Um, we got we got a lot of the shipments shipped to us here in Florida. So we got to fit everything here in Florida um, on mannequins. And then we did virtual fittings with our models in, like Mark said, Long Island. And then our staff was in Ohio or Pennsylvania or downtown Brooklyn, depending on who we're talking about. and. It just it took a lot longer than it usually would take, so it was really nonstop all summer. And but, quite honestly, too, are okay. Yeah, it was. It was. You know, I mean, the beat goes on. You find ways to adapt, and I think there's a tremendous amount of creativity that's going to come out of this situation for all designers and for customers alike. And um, it also uh, it, it enforced also a way to sort of redefine what Badge of Mishka was all about in this time and period. You know, there's certainly a lot more ease and uh, downstated 
uh, sort of luxury to the collection this season. There's a lot of beautiful evening separates. We have a whole division that's called Lux Lounge now that we dealt, developed with Neiman Marcus and Burger Goodman, our two key accounts. And it's beautiful evening separates. Um, case in point, there was a white terry cloth sequin evening blazer uh, that we showed over a chiffon uh, white palazzo. But, um, you know, you could break up those separates with a T-shirt or a pair of jeans. Um, and that's, you know, we find that our customer is really entertaining at home, whether she has one friend or maybe a couple couples over. Uh, she's outside on her patio. It's not so much of a gown, important cocktail moment right now. Um, but, but it will be again someday. It will be very yeah. soon again. But um, you know, our customer always wants to shop. She loves clothes. She'll do anything that she could do just to indulge herself and feel a little bit better uh, at this crazy moment that we're all going through. And um, she wants to be happy. And um, so it's our task to try to provide her with a little bit of glamour. There's a thread of glamour through everything that we do. And um, even when we dress it down a lot, uh, it's still hopefully clothes that makes her feel special. Kind of can't help ourselves. <laughs> no, you, you shouldn't. Well, I love that. And I love hearing about that. I wonder, you know, we're, as we get into a post-COVID world, please soon, um, you know, I think we're never going to go back to the way things were before. I think we've all learned to adapt. And I think we're, you know, I, I hope that we come out of this better collectively than we ever were before. But what do you think you will take from this learning as you as we go into the future um, or the future of Bachelor Mishka? I think what's important is that, um, you know, we realize, and we've always thought this, and it just has come true, true even more this season, is that, you know, women want to feel special and beautiful. You know, you have to be practical. You have to, you know, all of our clothes this season have a little bit of a more relaxed feeling, a little more, like we said, loungy feeling to them. But, you know, there's no substitute for beauty, and it will always be what people want from us. It's true, and I think... Um you know, fast fashion comes and goes, but I think there's a lot to be said about quality and endurance in a, in a beautiful look. And um, I think that... Yeah, we try to make the clothes timeless and enduring, you know, keeping them of the moment and very modern, you know, not... They can't look just like too retro, but they have to be very modern. And you are talking about celebrities earlier, and we do dress a lot of celebrities all the time, but... I think one of our favorite things is when we go to a restaurant or theater or something in New York, and then we see somebody wearing a dress of ours or a suit from 15 years ago. And that makes us feel great because it means that, she, first of all, she still fits the suit, which is good for her. And um, secondly, it means that she still thinks that that's timeless and, and appropriate for, for now, which makes us feel fantastic. Yeah, it's so true. Wonderful. Amazing. Um, well, I love seeing all the love in the chat. And I think I agree with April that said, oh, my God, let's skip 2020. Go right to spring 2021. And yes, absolutely. No. yes, yes. No. All right. So we're going to do our trivia question now. Um, so whoever is the first to put the correct answer in the chat is going to be our winner. So get your fingers ready to type in the chat. And our trivia question is, which inspiration city did Mark and James recently safely visit? I think we had a little clue earlier. So if you were listening. Ooh, they're on it. Havana and Savannah do rhyme. Though very different. <laughs> I know. That was a mistake. <laughs> very different places. Yes. All right. I think we have a correct answer. So we'll announce the trivia winner at the very end. All right. So moving on to the next slide. So our coveters are getting an exclusive preview of your collection right now within the game itself. So they're able to style with some of the beautiful pieces that we saw in the video. Uh, can you talk just a little bit about some of the pieces that they're experiencing in the game right now? Sure. The first, the first dress is a, a beautiful, just cornflower blue siren. It's a stretch Mikado, so it's super comfortable, even though it looks very couture and very old school. It feels like you're just, you know wearing uh, stretched gym clothes when you have it on. So that's what we try to really bring to our gowns right now uh, is an, an, an ease and a comfort to everything. If a woman's entertaining at home, 
Um, it's really uh, feels great on the body. And the next look is a signature look this season. It's a beautiful uh, print that we did developed out of Italy. It's on a, on a, on a four ply stretch crepe. She just tosses it off her shoulder. It's instantly glamorous over a white crepe bootleg trouser. And the third dress is, we call it our Inca dress because it's inspired by some ruins in Mexico, but it's um, ink and gold. It's uh, four different sequins that are put on to stretch tools. So this feels literally like um, like you're wearing gym clothes, but you're wearing a gold sequin dress. So It does. And even though it hugs the body, it feels like a leotard when she's wearing it. And it's so glamorous, but it's so cozy to wear. And the last dress is also a Mikado. This one's a ball gown, stretch Mikado. And it's inspired by the colors, we're calling it peony, but it's inspired by the facades of those buildings in Havana that you saw in the earlier picture. And the whole ruffle detail that goes throughout the collection is also inspired by, you know, traditional Havana, Cuban um, attire and the fabulous way that the women love ruffles and love flounces. So we, we're, we're finding, too. yeah, we're finding that everything waist up is so important because of photography, because of Zoom, because of everything. Everything's podium dressing. So we did a million of these beautiful portrait collars that just sort of grace and enhance, you know, a woman's neckline. I um, mean, all these beautiful complexion colors. And it's funny because Mark was saying it's podium dressing because we've, we've done podium dresses for years. You know, when you do an awards dress, you have to think about not only how does it walk across the stage, but also what's she going to look like when she's standing at the podium. That's what's most important. And Zoom dressing is basically the same as podium dressing. So it's so you have tons of experience with with yeah. Zoom dressing men. Yeah, I, yeah, you wouldn't yeah, even know. It's all from like the bus stop. <laughs> well, I have I hadn't thought of that. I love it. It's amazing to me to see you know the inspiration bo you know boards that we had shown earlier in the images, and then how it really comes to life in these dresses. And you know, since we can't really be out in person in real life at parties, I'm so glad that you know millions of women can experience uh, spring 2021 through covet fashion and to be able to try on the clothes virtually and be able to really um, share that experience with you know their friends and the millions of women who play covet fashion m women and men who play covet fashion i should say so that's it's just amazing to see how it translates that's so cool all right. So we're quickly coming up to the end, but I do want to um, have some time for some attendee questions. So we'll jump right into the Q&A. Again, make sure you use the Q&A feature at the very bottom to submit your questions. I'll try to get to as many as I possibly can. Um, all right. Let's see here. Do you have a favorite piece that you've designed or maybe a favorite silhouette that you always love? I think from this collection, um, I think that the, the white terry cloth sequin jacket is my favorite piece on this collection because it's super versatile, super comfortable. And I, I could tell from the comments, I, was, I had my glasses on or I could see the comments that you guys really love that too. So that makes us feel good. Yeah, I love that piece. It's so versatile. And, and like I said earlier, you could toss that blazer over a pair of jeans. You could wear that beautiful chiffon uh, palazzo with a t-shirt can take you anywhere. And that's what I think is so fun about evening separates uh, right now is that they're so versatile. And I think that's what a woman needs in her wardrobe. All right, next question. Um, tell me about a project that you're most proud of and why. Uh, oh gosh, James and I, you know, we, we, in our down months during COVID, we did, uh, we published a book. We self-published a book um, uh, called... We did, called Love in the Time of Corona. And um, it was sketches, we, fashion sketches, um, that we did sort of... Uh, when we were on, like Mark said, when we were on lockdown from Corona, our office was closed. Nobody really knew what was happening. And we had all these different emotions. So Mark started doing these sketches that had different themes based on different feelings we had during the pandemic, the early part of the pandemic. And he started posting them on his Instagram personally. And then we did a couple on the company Instagram and everybody wanted to buy them because they were, they, they were like, just everyone was feeling the same things we were feeling. So they wanted to see these sketches. So we were, um, 
able to team up with Feeding America and do an auction of these sketches on eBay. Which was an amazing experience. So we, we did these sketches and believe it or not, uh, they did an auction and we were able, for the proceeds of the auction, we provided this from the sales of the auction, we uh, fed 200,000 meals. That's uh, to Feeding America, which yeah. was just mind boggling that you can really make a difference in this day and age. Yeah. Um, and it was so gratifying and, and just, it was just wonderful. We published a, a coffee table book uh, for all the people that couldn't buy the actual sketches. And I think that was one of the most fun projects that we've done uh, in a long time because it, it you know, it, it combined our love of fashion, what we do, also what was going on, obviously. Uh, in the world today and um, that we could connect in our community with Feeding America and help people was great. That's incredible. I mean, bringing joy with the sketches and also providing meals to people who are struggling during this time. I can totally understand why that's a very proud moment for you. Yeah, it was really fun. It was great. I love that. Um, Which country do you enjoy visiting and get inspired by the most? I think Spain. James Personally. has an affinity for I Spain. I love Spain. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm an Italy kind of guy. It, I'll take Italy too. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Do we have anyone from Spain or Italy on the chat? I studied in Sevilla when I was in college. I lived there for six months. Uh, I'm oh also God. in love with Spain. Yeah. It's fantastic. Wow. The, the culture there, the people, the food, mm-hmm. just everything. Every- yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, James and I try to get to the Amalfi Coast now and then. It's our favorite place in the world. Ugh, making me want to travel. Right. No. Someday. <laughs> Virtually, Amanda. Virtually. And you always want it more when you can't, you know? Exactly. Um, how has your approach to creating new looks changed over time? I think when we started the company, since my background was in men's where Marks was in um, women's, I used to do most of the tailored pieces and Mark would do most of the draped pieces. Now we kind of both do everything. And also what was interesting is that when we started, we both had to go to everything together, every fabric appointment, every fitting, every, every, everything together to make sure that the other one wasn't doing something we weren't happy with. And now, you know, after 30 some years, we finally got together that we can really trust each other. We can be in two places at one time now. So I can be, you know, working with Italy on the shoes, Mark can be working with the pattern maker in New York, um, just all different. We can be in two places at one time. And um, people have said it's like we've been able to develop it. So it's one mind and two bodies, but that only means half a mind in each body. So I don't think that's that flattering. <laughs> so. I think you manage okay. Be good bye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, barely. There are so many good questions, but unfortunately, we don't have enough time to get through all of them. Um, but I want to see if there are any final thoughts that you want to share with our coveters before I do the wrap up with the trivia announcement and just like some final housekeeping items. Yeah, no, only that we're delighted that you included this, uh, uh, included us on your your beautiful program. Yeah, it's fun to see how everyone you know works with our clothes on Covet and to see you know how much fun people can have with the clothes and. You know, and, and there's such a bigger reach than just people who actually get the clothes in their hand. It's, it's fantastic. And it makes us feel great when we see that. So we appreciate you guys. Well, we are so honored to be partners with you guys. We love seeing all the collections and all the inside access that you give to us and that you give to our coveters. And we just feel very fortunate to be able to work with you. So thank I, you so much. I could yeah. not agree more. Well, feelings yeah. good. You do a beautiful job. Thank you. And thank you for taking the time to be on here with us for our Covet Fashion Week. And we're so delighted to be able to share, you know, your inspiration with the world through Covet. And I'm personally so inspired by, you know, what you've done during the coronavirus time and the ability to have worn some of your clothes through Rent the Runway. And also when we came to visit you in New York last year. So just a personal thank you so much for inspiring all of us. Thank you. Take care and be safe. Thank you so much. All right. So before all of our attendees sign off, just a few quick wrap up items. So we do have our trivia winner. The correct answer was Savannah. Thank you so much to the entire Badgie Mishka team for joining us, for being partners with us. Thank you for continuing to bring glamour into the world. Um, We know it's difficult right now, but everything has been so inspiring for us. And it was so incredible to see this behind the scenes look. 
Thanks for having us. Yes, thanks so much. Thanks so much. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye.